so in this short video, uh, I'm going to talk about optimization a little bit and uh, possibly further down the course, uh, I'll share my own uh, optimizer that I come up with. But for right now, just uh, at the basic level. So basically, when you have a strategy, you might want to optimize it, right, to find uh, which results are best, right? So in order for your optimization uh, to happen, right, you need the, the parameters to show up and the parameters that you are going to optimize right so basically if you go file new strategy analyzer right here you got like a bunch of symbols well I got my own list right here so here's my list of symbols that I want to work on uh, well I created it using the instrument manager so I just created a uh, so here's a default here's my list so I can create a new list and add a bunch of symbols that I like the most into my list. So that's how I created it. And uh, so I go into the strategy analyzer and I want to optimize uh, the strategy for everything that's in the list. And so I go right here, op run optimizer. I choose the strategy name from the drop down. And right here, I got a bunch of parameters that I can work with. And I also have a bunch of parameters or like these that are actually just set uh, fixed right so I don't want them to be iterated so these ones you see the min value max value and increment so basically that's where the optimizer is going to start it's where it's going to end and that's the step that it's going to take all right so basically these are the parameters in order for them to show up you gotta have this right so on top uh, so basically all these types here they will be just um, they'll just come up uh, right here okay oops sorry so they'll just come up down here okay so you can't really optimize them you can just select whatever you want and but if you want them to be optimizable you have to put this grid category parameters in on top of this public field and that's and that's about it it will come up right here on top uh, parameters and blah okay that's one thing and the other thing is that you got an option right here what exactly do you want to optimize so basically you create you select your data series here uh your time frame and uh, and so on it's pretty simple but uh so you can include commissions or not include commissions uh, and uh, basically if you want commissions to be actually working on the on the sim right you gotta go here commission so for right now I have futures and right here futures. So this is the provider and but that's when you connect to this guy here. But like for the sim or replay, so you need to put commissions on replay if you want them on replay. And you gotta put them on sim if you got it on sim, right? So there you got you can move, put the different levels of commissions and so but uh I don't think that's really too too much of a of a deal. Just put it a little bit bigger than you actually expect it to be. So uh, back to the optimizer. Back to the optimizer. Where is it? Okay. So uh, imagine this situation that you want to optimize uh, whatever parameter it is, right? You got a few options here. So you can select the optimizer, which is default or genetic. So I go for genetic, which is faster. I guess the default one just will just iterate through every possible mm, setting that you give it. So um, you can optimize data series as well, right? So you can actually go for the time frame, uh, whichever one is best. So basically, when you put this on true, uh, you are like, for example, right now in my time frame right here is set to type and value one. And if I actually optimize data series true, then this will switch to type as minute and value. And I can go from whatever, right? I can optimize on every single time frame. Uh, okay. So whether or not you want to trade this kind of time frame, that's, uh, that's another question. So optimize on, right? So this is where you want to, you select what exactly are you going to optimize? So maximum net profit, bad idea. Anyway, maximum percent profitable. So if you want to come up with your own coefficient, that will actually include, you know, a bunch of this stuff all together. Like it would go for profit factor, draw down. It would go for net profit and everything all together, right? You can actually see what says my system quality number. That's actually something I just created. 
okay and the way you do it is actually uh, pretty easily done so we go ahead in the namespace of ninja trader strategy so this is the name I gave it yeah so I can go for golden coef right and uh, in my optimizer optimization type that's what you got inherited from and that and it's got only one single thing you got to override is this and so you get your system performance values inside this method and basically you do whatever calculations you want to do right here and that's about it and that's about it okay uh, later in the course I might provide some code where I actually uh, because I'm, I'm just about to go for my own golden coefficient that I use and uh, when I finish it up I'll put it up so stay tuned <laughs>